Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. Tonight we have a really fun read. What messages are spirit, source, or our guides or angels trying to bring through for you? Okay, so I got a new bell and I love it so much. Listen. Oh, I love it so much. And we are going to begin with the High Priestess of Earth is number one, or it comes with amethyst. Look at this amethyst and pyrite bracelet. It is so remarkable i love it so much i was using it when i was channeling yesterday really powerful strong energy i love amethyst they are perfect for you know just divine quietude and channeling and then we have number two that's beauty and we have a gorgeous um watermelon tourmaline ring the colors are astounding and it's really beautiful i love that ring it makes me so happy and then number three we have the high priestess of spirit and then we have a cameo on shell if you like to choose a a material that you like that attracts you as well so I'm going to begin now let's see with the high priestess of earth this is basically saying everything that you need to know is part of the divine scheme of things okay there's going to be meaningful coincidences blessed friendships lovers a significant experience are all going to be orchestrated by the divine to help you become the powerful being that you're meant to become okay no matter what's in front of you something important is brewing and you're going to know the answer to what or why as you step forward into things because um, you're going to be divine guided and you're going to see things more clearly you're going to hear things more clearly because you're going to slow down and be um, you're just going to be aware it's important to be present in the next you know coming weeks because you're going to have these lovely messages that are really going to help you and let's see and then next you also got the green man so I love this. So this is about initiative, fertilization, action, all that. This is a time for you to actively pursue what you wish to create in your life. Okay, now is the time. No fear, no hesitation, just do it. Okay, pursue, pursue, pursue. You know, acknowledge the presence of the powerful new energies that are around you because you're really going to feel them when you want to tap into them. They're going to be there. Okay, each day is going to bring these changes. And it's as if a life force is surging through you right now. And every cell is radiating this bright strong fierce new energy for you to step into and acknowledge and be able to go I had this in me all along sometimes we feel a little tired or we're not really tapped into our beautiful intuition and our soul's message so I've got to say I've never had two days be entirely different as today and yesterday yesterday I was anxious frantic running around um, I was very I, I just was all over the place and I wasn't focused and it was so beautiful and part of the reason I was so out of whack is because I was so angry thinking I couldn't enjoy the day because I had to be A, B, and C where I actually didn't have to be any of these places and I had the opportunity to be outside at any time I wanted. And today I woke up with that realization. And the first thing I did was go outside. The second I woke up, I brought my coffee out there, sat out on my deck and listened to the birds and everything got aligned. I started to hear my guides. I started to hear my inner voice and nature. Okay, so that's a great way to get replugged in through nature. Okay, and here's the realization. And, you know, sometimes it's just being outside, hearing, there's something that slows and connects us to our true self when we're outside. There's no distractions, distractions, devices, or things calling to us to be clean, to be fed, or any of those things. It's just us, right? And that's important. So with this beautiful realization card, this is saying that, um, the realization that we have a pattern, a bad habit or behavior that is causing us pain, that was me yesterday. My, my drive sometimes gets the best of me of trying to do too much, okay? It can cause us pain. It's a powerful position. So even though we may feel worry and pain around this discovery, we can take a personal responsibility to change our situation at any time. When we decide to really examine our lives without fear or favor, and that can be hard. This is no doubt, right? This is an act of courage, but we might not like what we discover. You know, we may be time wasters. We may be procrastinators. But now that we're becoming self-aware, we can act upon those realizations and change them and begin a new, right? It's that, you know, that wonderful moment where we go, okay, this, this no longer works for me or serves me, you know? There's many many choices and points in our life where we have the power to make beautiful changes and become more creative, become more empowered and live a life where we move beyond our past and we discover new territories, right? It's a new vision of freedom and it's going to come to you. You know, you're not going to see the past as the same anymore either. Wisdom's going to replace that numb acceptance of memories um, and the relationships 
and we're going to realize we're going to be rich with potential all the time because our natural choice is going to fall into wonderful new patterns as opposed to um, being lazy, procrastinating, fearful, any of those things. You're really, really going to develop these beautiful new pathways for yourself because you're realizing what used to be and what no longer works for you, right? So you're going to make wise decisions and you're really going to listen to yourself. So that is beautiful energy group one. I love that for you. So if you're new to the channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below. If you want a private read, I get to those within 24, 48 hours. Come see me on Instagram. I'm sparkrist11. We do so many fun posts and memes and crazy things over there. It's a wonderful tribe. If you want to come join my Patreon page, you can join any tier. And normally my $100 um course is a dollar even if you join on the dollar tier and it's all about just smart communication with people you know um we can instantly become devoted to somebody and we don't know why i know why that happens now through study and it's basically because of the way you make someone feel or they make you feel and these are the choice words that provide that feeling because words create a feeling feeling creates a kind of devotion creates interest creates response to you and that's what this course is about so come check it out because i really want people to feel connected to one another not isolated scared waiting for a text not wondering what's going on it can be infuriating, right? And I don't want that for you. I want a lovely, I want all your anis to disappear, right? I want you to feel contented, loved, and balanced. And that's my goal with this course. So anything that you want down below and also, oh my goodness, go just check out, click on the goddess provisions box and just check out what it is. It's amazing this month. It's got, I wear the headscarf every day. <laughs> In fact, I was interviewed today by um, NBC News and I had it on and I'm like, please don't let me look crazy. <laughs> but that, that scarf is going to be on the news. <laughs> so anyway, that's you group one. So love and light to you. Good, good energy. Good, good messages coming through for you. Okay. So number two is beauty. I like these cards so much. This is another Colette Baron Reed deck and I, I really like it. I feel like this is so, saying, you know, when you re, when you revel in the beauty that is true, you can look at yourself in the mirror and realize, you know, you're already perfect as you are. When you choose this symbol, it's a sign of beauty and it's all around you. So keep a positive attitude, expect wonderful things and they'll come to you. See yourself as beautiful and know that beauty is, n is not skin deep. Okay. It includes qualities that lie well beneath the surface. Look for this truer beauty in others as well and always look beyond appearances, which we often do because people make us feel a certain way, right? And we can intrinsically know their vibe and, you know, what sort of what they give off and, and what they hold for us, you know, a full hearted person and mind, body, spirit makes us feel great. And there's a consistency to that friendship and that experience with them. So we look for that and we can feel anybody who's even mildly empathic or intuitive knows when somebody's well-intentioned and a well-balanced person, you just get a feeling, right? And the ad adverse is true as well. You know, if somebody's off and our hair stand on end, then we sort of keep our distance until we can reevaluate what's happening. If people, you know, people have off days, but they can also be, you know, we listen to ourselves. Oftentimes I do find that first impressions really are the truth of the matter. So let's see, you've got, um, you've got the Frere card and this is about abundance, peace and contentment, which that's my daily goal. Honest to goodness. It's like, if I can have one thing, it's contentment. It means enough. We have enough. We're feeling like abundant we're feeling together we're feeling balanced we're feeling um successful you know because even regardless of age religion race creed family any of those things any of our issues every human has a chance to change into a person with a higher purpose right so when we live from that place we're truly peaceful we're truly content and abundant or even in times of my life when i've had you know tons of money and I could do and buy whatever I want. I remember once going on my lunch break and I bought a BMW and I bought a condominium and it was so weird to be able to do that, but I had inherited money. I still didn't get the satisfaction then that I do to this day where I'm filling up my spiritual cup and my knowledge and I want to learn. And I'm almost upset at that stage that when I had all this cash, I didn't just travel the world and go and suck up as much information as I could. But when we're in our 20s and our 30s, we don't think like that necessarily. And I think this new generation does, they're very smart and they want to be informed. But you know, and, and 
Also, it's like you can really only buy so much stuff and do so much stuff and unless you're really well directed and you're, you're embracing the planet, our truth, our spirit, right? And now you're moving into a time of physical health, joy, enthusiasm, and the wonderful energy of optimism, which is important because it's a strong and joyful connection. Others are going to embrace this energy and want to be close to you and share and your revelry because you're really feeling like you know, you're a quick pick me up for them because you're this vibrant, warm energy, which is really beautiful. You also got the path card. I am noticing too that um, children are very inclined to want to be close to that kind of energy. It's really, really cute. You know, it's like they they sense that they'll turn around and they'll look at you and um, it's a vibration we give off and it's really kind of nice. So the path is saying that, you know, the way is open for you. The path is going to be illuminated. Begin your journey now. Honestly, respond and take action. When yourself is saying, go for this walk, eat this, you know, eat these healthy foods, call this person, learn this new thing, expand and align. Really listen to it. Even tiny baby steps. My baby steps always begin with writing pen, paper. That's it. What am I going to do? One, two, three. You know, I'm going to eat things that are good for me with high magnesium, B12, all these things, brain foods. I'm always going to be warm and loving to my animals. Even if I feel impatient or hurried, I'm always going to stop and pick them up if they're looking at me right? Really, really, you are open and responsive and you're opening more and more, which is really beautiful. When we accept where we are and we acknowledge what needs to change and to grow and we begin to love ourselves more completely, the direction in our lives begins to change. We often decide we want to follow a more authentic way for ourselves and our desires become more aligned with the needs, wants, and values of our true selves. Absolutely. You know, imagine you're lost in a, a dark forest and you can hardly see, right? No visible path. We feel burdened by shadows, uncertainty, then the sunshine somehow breaks through. It's like, you know, people, if you were depressed or whatever, it's a bout of depression. It is not a life sentence. We'll all have days where we feel terrific on top of the world. And then we'll have days that are the opposite. But what we need to do is get that, that shard of sunlight to come through and go, okay, I am physically well today, so I can get up and move around and be outside. What is something that I would love that would boost my spirits? Cling to that and go do that one thing. Whether it's something delicious that you love around the corner, someone who always brings you up, someone on YouTube you like to listen to, someone whose voice is soothing and heavenly and balm to any anxiety, listen to that. I love chimes and bells and Irish accents and things like that. And I go to that, I cleave to that, and it relaxes me and grounds me out again. And that's sort of your message. And you're going to move into this just unique state where um, now I feel like you might need a little introspection for self-direction and contemplation. But in your heart, you're going to have all this creativity and power that's starting to bubble up. And your um, clarity is going to kick in because you have a lot of um, victory and growth right now. I feel like this path card is victory and growth where you're like, you know what? I am going to expand. I want to learn this thing. And that's going to lead to something else you want to lead learn and it's going to lead so on and so forth and then you're going to be like wow how how did i make this so complicated when it's really so simple right you're going to have great friendship support and social energy occurring at this time as well so dive in and really really relish all this warm beautiful connectivity that's coming your way so good good energy for you guys group number two and feel free to watch the others as well because there's some nice things coming in the near future i mean our guides really um they're really stirring this lovely lovely potion up for everybody to drink that makes them feel warm connected and loved and it's really wonderful so if you're new to the channel don't forget to press like and subscribe and the notification bell notification bell bing so you know when all the new videos are out and then all my links are down below please come see me on patreon start reading this love course it's doing leaps and wonders for a lot of people it's all about communicating on the right level if we provide people the a significant other that we're interested in romantically with a certain kind of feeling and those feelings are created by certain words texts and it emotes this emit this kind of um emo it emotes this emotion to them that sticks with them and all of a sudden they're in like this love reel and you're in it because of these certain phrases and these ideas and basically people aren't necessarily looking for people they're looking to feel a certain way and if you provide that and and, and it's a natural way of communication. 
um, they become devoted for you. And it took me a while to find this information, but once I did, I'm like, whoa, this is going in a course ASAP. So come over to my Patreon page, join up. There's several different tiers from a dollar to whatever you want, and you can have all different things. And I really, because I want people to have this um, attachment, you know, this weird detachment that happens right after people meet and this fear because what are they really thinking and all this strange oddity that stops the progression of a true natural relationship doesn't make sense to me. And then I work through why that happens and how to not have that happen. Okay. And it's, it's, it's an accomplishment and I'm excited and I'm proud of it. And I want, I was happy to share it with you guys. So come down there and check it out. Everything else is down there. My Etsy store with all this cool jewelry. This is so remarkable. Like I've, I've been wearing this this the last couple of days to charge it up because um, it's such a special, spectacular stone. And I love pyrite combined with it because pyrite is a stone that attracts money and wealth too. But it has this lovely um, heft to it. But then after you're wearing it for a minute, you don't even feel like it's there. You just feel this warmth on your wrist. It's very bizarre, but it is a magical piece. So yeah, go to my Etsy store and check some stuff out so that you guys beautiful. You are on the path. You're going to be feeling generous, charitable. There's going to be a lot of beautiful reciprocity in your life that as you give, people are turning around and giving to you and all this beautiful yin and yang energy. Great, great social energy group too. So love and light to you guys. Now we're on to three, which is the high pre priestess spirit. So let's see what's going on with that. Yeah, there's just some remarkable messages. My guides were so helpful for me today because yesterday was so rough on me of me just trying to race out into the world with a chicken with a head cut off. And I said, today can't be that kind of day. And immediately I heard, go outside, take your coffee and go sit in the lawn chair. That's how you start your day. 7.30 a.m. That's where I was. I've had the greatest day because of that. I'm listening. So right here, this is saying, you know, Know that all things, events, and experiences are woven together. It's like a magical web for you, okay? No matter what is in front of you, something important is brewing right now. You're going to know the answer to what's and why's. Um, spirit is going to be breathing these quietly into your ear and giving you these messages. And it, you're going to come out with resounding yes, no. You know, you're not going to feel like you're, you have to... Um, oscillate between a bunch of choices anymore you're going to be super direct and you're really going to understand wow this is this is what I want you know you're going to just have massive clarity in everything which is important because lots of times we experience things that we almost feel is like an illusion you're like I'm you know I feel what it boils down to for me is when we go out there and we're, we're truth seeking we really want to know what's real. We sometimes want to be provided with a little bit of evidence towards that, or, you know, whether it's new friendships, new relationships, new jobs, prosperity, because impulsiveness sometimes can garter like misadventure and we're, we're met with more challenges than we are rewards, right? So this is about having progression of self-confidence and courage, knowing it doesn't matter. It's an experience and you're going to go through it. It's how you handle it afterward. If it's something that was a lesson taught, that's all it has to be in through in intuition and reflection on it. We know next time, right? The thing is to slow down and really be in your power so when you're discovering things we don't have to get burnt or be left out in the cold by just jumping in we step back how do we feel intuitively and our guides are going to definitely bring us along in a very harmonious way um, I feel like this group too you're gonna have a lack of obnoxious competition people aren't gonna be bothering you anything you're planning is gonna progress beautifully into new discoveries and you're gonna make really smart decisions I feel like you're gonna have lucky successes all along because you're you're conscious. You're not going into subconscious patterns that you've always done before and just rehashing old behaviors. You are going into real, real, instinctual, smart new beginnings, and it's going to transform how things come out for you. So you also got the Yule Singer. I like this so much. This is about rebirth, feasting, and joy, and you really are going through this a lovely thing where you know you have the power of choice so you're going into it full-hearted and you're living in your mind body spirit reaction with compassion and light and connection to other people around you so it's not about how much can I get or how how do I compare it's how are, are we all doing how are we all getting along it's a new vision of freedom for you too because you're not going to be looking back in the past and um and you know, trying to play any kind of blame game or have fear involved in it. You're just in this lovely logical space that you realize you're the one that determines the outcome by your mood, by your words, by your focus, and by how, um, 
you slow down to make wise decisions, right? Because you're going to be super creative and empowered right now as well. And you also got the sovereignty card, which I love. This is my favorite one in the um, in the Oracle deck. And this is actually, if, if you're new, this is the, the Queen of the Moon Oracle. A lot of people have been asking about this because it's such beautiful. You know, and this is all, the sovereignty card is so remarkable. I love it because, you know, it's saying how we should strive to be the powerful queens in our own domain, king or queens. You know, we have been socialized women in general to defer, keep small and be quiet in a very weird, twisted kind of way. But now it's time to step into your true power and really shine brightly. You know, the time is right to attract big things for yourself. And you're going to do that. You're opening your mind to all these larger possibilities. You have power. It is real. Big magic is coming in. You guys got it. You know, um, we can move mountains when we put our minds to it. And you're, you're in that frame of mind. You're like, I feel like you're just on cloaking, throwing off that heavy, dusty cloak of winter. And you're like, why am I complicating things when they really are rather simple? If I don't like you, I'm not spending time with you. If this doesn't make me feel good, I'm not doing it. If I feel like my, uh, my time is wasted at a job or with people, places, or things, and I feel undervalued, I'm releasing that. It's time to step into this new powerful person that you're becoming and become self-actualized. I mean, it was weird, like today, and when I was being interviewed for NBC, I didn't have any fearful or hesitant moments. I just kept talking and talking. And even the man's like, you're very natural on camera. And I said, well, you know, I'm going to talk about what I know. You know what I mean? And it was like, and I'm also, you know, I'm a YouTuber. And both of them made me laugh because they said, our kids ask us to be YouTubers. Here they are on a national news channel. And their kids are like, you need to be influencers, dad. And I thought it was so funny because all these platforms and um, wonderful ways to convey messages are open to everybody now. And I think it's so great that there's endless opportunities for somebody who knows something and can share that information wisely with somebody else. So if you have that, step into that as well, because you've really got it together in the near future and your spirits are going to be connecting with you. So love and light to this group. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to press like and subscribe and also the notification bell ding my new bell and all my links are down below if you want to come check me out on etsy i've got all my beautiful spring jewelry is already um if you need any private reads instant go which is a great service that i love because it's a quick way to connect and get you the answers you want it's wonderful come check out the goddess provision box it is amazing this month like i was bowled over by everything in it so check that out as well and anything that you want will be down there love and light